is going to be the last video for 2010 and what I'm going to show you here is a quick view of a potential hybrid exciter. Now one thing that this exciter has is it's utilizing the new proprietary transistor. At the current time there's very few of these in existence. That's part of the reason this will function. What you're seeing off of the 12 volt battery is the characteristic filter that I've explained in a number of the documents. The plus leg off of the battery goes right into the plus connector on the board. The negative out of the filter goes through a 100k ohm, 100,000 ohm resistor to the canister of the capacitor, the major filter capacitor on the 18 board. Now remember this is 100,000 ohms. I have my coil mounted up here. I put my AV plug on the board where it should be. And we've got a monitor on here, the spectrum analyzer. You can see the activity coming out of this circuit. This is the local FM band. This is 96.1. And you can see, of course, that we're the center frequency is 60 megahertz. We have a span of 120. So this is a hybrid potential excited exciter. And what I mean by that is that it's obvious if you take this 100K and use Ohm's Law and just throw it across that 12 volt battery, you're talking something around 142 microampers directly into the resistor. We have the impedance of the oscillator itself, the exciter, so you know darn good and well that we're not getting any current into this guy much over about 20 or 30 microamps at most. What is actually happening here is that the output of the AV plug back into the exciter is what's actually powering the entire circuit. Now when properly configured in a different method I will take a second diode off of the AV plug and feed it back into the battery prior to the 100k ohm resistor. For those of you that own 18-1 boards, you've been given a link by Conrad to go out and get new documentation which will show some of these circuits. And you'll find it very interesting the amount of energy you can pull off of this exciter and how it can be utilized back into the battery. But of course, uh, you're going to have to go out there and pull that documentation down to see that. So anyway, like I say, this is the last one for the season. And this is called a potential driven hybrid exciter.